Welcome back. This particular tutorial is going to show you how to get the spectrograms in Prod and also how to have the program visualize um, the formants it calculates correctly. So let's start by opening the program, closing the Prod's picture window, and simply reading in a couple of files. The files we're using today are from some field work I did back in Kenya. Uh, in 2006. Um, it's a child, uh, a 12 year old boy, a 44 year old woman and a 30 year old man all reading the word to. Uh, we're reading in the child data first, then the female token, and finally the male sound file. So let's click on the child data and click on edit and this is what you get, the complex wave. Um, now if you want PRA to display the spectrum, you go to spectrum, show spectrogram and now it is the spectrograph which we are familiar by now. And in order for PRA to calculate the formants, you've got to show formants, which is under formants and simply click show formants. So there you can already see that the program tries to identify um, those stronger frequencies, those bands of frequencies um, which we know as formants. Um, it does fairly okay for the first three. Up here the sound file, the quality isn't too good um, and still it seems to not to be too sure where the steady formants are. Now as we said these settings are important. So if you click on formant settings um, then you can see settings which I'm not going to walk you through all the details because you can leave most of these for your analyses anyway. But the main important thing to know is that maximum formant frequency has got something to do with the highest frequency uh, Prod is looking at. And obviously the higher pitch, the higher voice your person has, um, the higher you will specify that. And you sort of got to fiddle around with that to get the best option. For women, 5500, the default setting usually works pretty well. Now we've got a child here and we already saw that there are the fourth and fifth formant um, that these are not mapped too well. So knowing that the child has got a higher pitched voice, we try a higher parameter, something like 5700. And you can already see that the lines um, are more steady. They are better they are a better fit. So the program now knows, okay, I've got someone with a higher pitched voice, um, so I've got to look at a different bandwidth. Okay, so for the child, this particular setting works all right. If we now click on the male token and look at this, um, then it looks sort of all right, uh, and we can listen to it once first. So it's definitely a male voice with um, not a very low pitch, um, but still, if you look at the formant settings, no, show formants, formant settings. And you lower this to 5000. Then again, you can see that the formant tra tracking is a lot better, even in those areas where you don't have a crystal clear sound. Um, so again, it shows that you've got to tell the program um, it's a lower pitched voice we're dealing with, it's a male, and 5000 usually works alright for that. Though each individual file you have to tinker with a bit. Um, and your aim will be to get the formants to be in exactly the same place where you've got the dark bands of energy in the spectrogram. Finally, let's look at female data. Um, again, this looks sort of all right. Um, what we could do, however, in the format settings is just revert to the standards, because as I said, the 5500 that Prague gives you as a default usually works pretty well with normal female voices. And again, you can see that even in those areas where we've only got um, not too loud a data uh, point here and here, um, the formant tracking still works pretty well. So let's one last time listen to this. Uh, again, the token 2. Um, and the lesson of this particular exercise was um, that in the formant settings, you've got to fiddle around with that. For females, you should probably start out with 5,500 as the maximum frequency, uh, with males, some like 5,000, and with kids, well, it depends on their age. The younger they are, the higher the pitch. Um, 
So with the adolescents I was looking at here, um, something like 6,000 might work. For younger kids, 6, 7 year olds, um, you might try something like 7,000, 8,000. Um, your main aim basically is just um, for each speaker um, to get the formants exactly in the bandwidth um, that we see in the spectrum.